Good morning, friends, and welcome to Godly Play here at King Avenue Church. We are still in the green and growing days, and we'll be there for quite a while. I wonder how you've been growing this summer, and I'd love to hear about that. There was once someone who told people what it was like to be part of the family of God. People followed him, but they weren't sure exactly who he was. So one day they asked him and he said, I am the light. And that light is here with us as we get ready for our story. I invite you to get ready at home, get into a comfortable position. In the beginning, God created everything. God created the light and the dark. God created the plants and the animals. God created the land and the water. Everything was there and everything was connected together. God was part of everything and everything was part of God. God created humankind. God created Adam and Eve so that they could be together and not be lonely. There were two special trees in the garden. There was the tree of life and there was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now the serpent was the most clever of all of the creatures that God created. And the serpent came to the people. And the serpent said, look, I know that God has told you not to eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. But even though God told you not to eat this fruit, I'm telling you that God is lying and that if you eat of this fruit, you will be just like God. And so Adam and Eve ate of the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and things fell apart. Adam and Eve fell apart and they felt like God was far away from them. In fact, they tried to hide, but God found them because God always finds us. Adam and Eve were not sure how to be with God anymore because of all of the differences. There were so many differences. There was the difference between Adam and Eve between high and low, between close and far, and many, many more differences. But Adam and Eve had been created in the image of God, and so they could create. They could make something out of these differences by taking things apart and putting things back together again but they could not stay in the garden anymore. God sent them out of the garden and put an angel there. They could not go backwards, but they could go forward. And as they went forward, God was always with them. And God showed them the best ways to live. And God showed them how to come close to God. I wonder what your favorite part of this story is. I wonder what you think is the most important part. I wonder if there's any part of this story that's about you, or maybe you're somewhere in this story. And I wonder if there's any part of this story that we can take out and still have everything that we need. And now it's time to change the light. (laughs) 
as we change the light, it doesn't just disappear and go away. Even though we can't see it, the light is still there. And the light of Christ is with each one of us, wherever we are today. <laughs>